Hello everyone, this is the Cry Engine 3 video and I'll be showing you how to add rocks into the level. Now, as you can see, the terrain's looking pretty flat. The rocks will help bump up that terrain as well as have textures. So here we go, we're gonna go on the roll up bar and click brush. Now, I've already opened the, the browser. Um, Bear with me again. Yeah, there's a there's a range of there's a range of objects to choose from, but to find rocks, you go on in the natural folder and you find rocks, and there's just different types of rocks to choose from. Now I'm gonna just select this one. Make sure that the follow terrain button is clicked on. and just click and drag to drop the item and now you can see that there's a rock in the level not the specific rock that I'd like to choose but if you want to choose a different one you just click that and just up the folder you can see there's different rocks to choose from um just bear with me I'm going to find one that is suitable let me just open this one yeah as you can see there's a rock in the level that I like now I'm going to move it to a particular space You can also rotate it at different axes that there are X and Y and Z Yep Now I'm going to move it Let's click this uh, I'm going to click that to move it there's different axes you can move along once again just like rotating it now I'm gonna place it to a specific place that I would like because you could also enlarge it by clicking this and you can enlarge the size of the object by dragging one of the icons that are there So I'm going to just move it into place Just rotate it as well so it looks We don't, we don't want a floating rock in there You could also press the 1 and 2 1, 2 and 3 for movement, rotation and enlargement instead of uh, going up to click the icons yeah looks pretty good there now as you can see it's hidden some textures made the terrain look much more bumpier now uh, what I'm going to do here is copy and paste them by holding Ctrl and C and place it at different places <laughs> now I'm going to um, select a different type of rock you just remember when when placing rocks make sure they're different from each other you don't want the same one over and over again because it will just look too obvious and unnatural yeah uh, as you can see one of the rocks have a uh, different material now I'm going to change it by clicking that button there that was there um, it's not under here yeah um, go on the objects once you click the material button go on the material well I mean natural and then go under the rocks and there's different ones that you can choose from as you can see I've selected it um, this object has gone darker than the other one you can see there's three different colors but there's, there's also different other colors you can choose from like yeah 
make sure that the texture is natural to your environment that you're making like the white one you just saw it wasn't that natural <laughs> it just didn't fit with the environment I'm just right now I'm just choosing a different texture see just an experiment with the texture that you can use Hmm. Yep, it's quite good. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for listening and watching. And there's going to be more videos up to show.